Hello and welcome, my name is Easy and this is Fallout 4. Egret Tools Marina. Home sweet home. Everything is peaceful and quiet. Well, it, it was, but uh, yeah, let's not go into that. However, apparently, there's a new radio station. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office, I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. Huh. Oh. They launched the radio for that? Alright, guess we're uh, going to say hi to our pal Nick. If we're partners, does that mean I get a percentage of the uh, income? Does he even get income? We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? We were out? When did... what did... But, uh. The only thing I'm ready for is danger and awesome. Pew, pew, pew! I'm afraid hard-earned caps is all we've got to offer, honey. Oh, cool. Anyway, the client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Well, he actually stopped by, alright. Uh, so tell me more. Anything you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry. Like, he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. Right. And then he was gone. He was muttering something on the way out, but... No. I'm not sure it was important. Come on, Ellie. Don't hold out on me. What did he say? Well, I thought I heard him say something about a daughter and also a radio, but I might have misheard him. Not sure how the two would be connected. Yeah, that seems kind of odd. So, is the fedora and trench coat mandatory when solving these cases? Because I'm thinking smoking pipe and British accent. Hey, whatever floats your boat, gumshoe. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, <laughs> near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. <laughs> That's how the hard cases always start. So... I guess we're uh, going to team up then. Hey, Valentine. Time to hit the road? Yup. You interested in traveling together? Sure. Could be fun. Wow. Don't be over enthusiastic. Let's head out. Well, all right. Couple of sources saying that you were the one leading the Institute attack on the Fridwin. So, you want to tell me why you did it? Why you sided with those boogeymen? Uh, oh. Well? Was there really any other option? The Institute were the only ones trying to preserve humanity, Nick. Preserving humanity? That's what we're calling taking out the Brotherhood? The Railroad? All those lives lost. For what? So a group of mad scientists can keep plundering the Commonwealth to their heart's content? Is that truly the world you want to live in? I'm sorry if you're upset. This is the world we've got now, Nick. Thanks to you. You know, since the first time we met, I'd always got the sense that you were going to change this place. I just never expected it'd be like this. Right, yeah. Um, cool. Hell yeah. Battles were won with fists. Wars with wits. Be right. careful when you head over to the Nakano residence. That whole area is pretty isolated. Yeah, we'll do. Go. Oh, there you are. Come on, old man. Do crazy things when they're scared. 
So, a bit of a hike before us then. Well, let's top to it. Well, we're getting close. Almost there? Is it that? I guess it's that building up ahead. Um, yeah, you know what, Nick? Let's just move along. The settlers got that one. Whoa. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Where is it? Should be somewhere around here. Am I going the wrong way, or do we need to get up there? Or oh, hello. What's uh, up with you? Hey there. Please, I'm so thirsty. Could you spare any water? Um. Well, uh, I wish I could, but I don't think I have any on me. What kind of water did you need? Purified would be wonderful, but uh, anything you have would do. I don't know. Please. Without water, I could die. Anything you have would help me. Anything at all. Yeah, sorry. Wish I could help, but I don't have any. If you do find some, don't forget about me. How about I don't find some? Oh, there's some water here. It's right behind you. Let's see if we... Uh can get up here then uh, come on there we go oh there's a settlement over there okay so is this fence the very edge I guess it is Eh, more water. Don't know what that person was yammering about. Yeah, sure, I've never been this far. Uh, Nick? Nick? Uh, I'm sure he'll catch up. It's not like he lost me. He's a detective after all. Oh, look at this. It's a little settlement over here. Doesn't look that little, though. Where are we? We're actually off the map. Yeah, funny. No, I can't go that way. But there's a road here. Very dirty road. Damn it! Who? Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Ray. Someone has her. They could be raiders. Or gunners, or God knows what else. I think I might need Nick for this. But first, we're going to change into our super gear. Which, of course, is our charisma gear. Hello, your front door was open. Oh, there's two people here. Hello. I yeah, hope you don't mind. Oh. We let ourselves in. Nick, thank God. You need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You have to get to work right away, Detective. Okay, so, uh... So, what's the story with you and Nick? Nick didn't tell you? 
ran with him on one of his cases a few years back, searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. We were double-crossed by the client once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. Sorry things ended sour. We got out. That's all that mattered. And now you can return the favor by finding my daughter. Ah, great. You actually owe him one. Yeah, that's me. Lowly partner. I don't even get real business cards. Uh, right. Getting back to my daughter. It all started with this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. <laughs> That's for money. Uh, I don't really care for money. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She wow. could be anywhere. That's pretty great. Uh, we'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Just sit tight. Upstairs, right, okay. Is it this one? It's probably okay, this. This is Kasumi's room. Let's see if she left any clues about where she went. Where the hell did you go? You, why are you. Ah, oh, this silly robot. Poor silly synth. Okay, so. What have we got? I don't really want to take this. Oh, here we go. Project log, dreams. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm in a white room. People are talking about me like I'm not there, or maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt. Like a spark of electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. God, I hope I don't have it again tonight. Yeah, that's not much. Oh, another one. Project log? Radio. Correction? Working. Radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Hmm. Any other holo tapes? It's not a lot to go by. Oh, journal. Kasumi's journal, radio project update. The range on this thing is just terrible. Nothing but static and the occasional crazy thinking. I uh, think, uh, thinking the machine is talking to me. All oh, right, okay. So he's going weird. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to work on boosting the bandwidth coverage. There's a lot of electronics left in Grand Pass Boathouse with all the. Uh, nautical navigation tech he was tinkering with. I bet I could find something that can pick up frequencies from further out. Now, where did I leave my key to the safe? So Kasumi was spending time in her grandfather's old boathouse? Huh. Sounds like we know where we're heading next. Yep. The boathouse. Or were you going to say home? Where's the boathouse? That's a boat. I guess that's the boathouse. Any 
anything in here? Nope. Nothing at all. Alright. Just a bunch of junk. Ah, here we go. Oh, that's a safe. My dear Kasumi, if you ever get locked out of the safe, then the answer is here in the boathouse. Picture where the key is. Love, Grandpa. Picture... ...where the key is. <laughs> now, let's see what's in that safe. I could have just... Nah, whatever. Huh. Military great duct tape and uh... Project Log? Um myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths, synthetic people, made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off. Like, I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. So the daughter takes off by boat. But more importantly, there's a colony of synths up near this far harbor. We need a way to get there. Let's go talk to Kenji. He knows the water better than anyone. Hey, he does sell a boat. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? Yes. Yes, we have. I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? <sighs> You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? Um... Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Well... Um... Maybe your daughter is just confused. Uh, having an identity crisis. Oh, God. Does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system. A final gift from my father, and it's built for distance. <laughs> a magic boat ride? <laughs> Will there be sea monsters? Uh, <laughs> while I know the seas aren't exactly safe, I am confident that boat can get you there unharmed. At least I hope. I know you haven't asked for payment, and we can't offer much, but here, please take it. I insist, for expenses if nothing else. I know my partner here can be a little glib. But we won't rest until we get to the bottom of this. You two have my word. Fine, Kasumi. Please. Alright, let's go. We're gonna take a bow. Oh, don't jump. 
when you start we're gonna take a boat ride, we're gonna take a boat ride. What is this? And uh, we've got a little bit of a crane going on here. Best boat ever! Alright, let's go. Come on, Nick. Oh, you wanna come as well, Mr. Snuggles? Hello? Are you Mr. Snuggles? No? Right, let's go. Nick, we're going. We're going, Nick. Nick. Go on, Nick. Alright, here he is. Good, let's go. Travel to Far Harbor. Look, Mom! No hands! Uh, where did Nick go? Oh, look, it's spinning. It's on autopilot and everything. Oh, hello. Wait, how did... No, you're not. Wait, what the... Nick? 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 You can take the next one! Or not? He's... What it? Huh, oh, this doesn't look so great. Oh... Oh, I think we're here. Yeah, that seems to be... Oh, hello. Wow, this place is pretty big. Oh, what are those? We got visitors. Mainlanders ain't nothing but trouble. Put the damn gun down. Yeah, man. Put it down. Greetings. Oh. Huh? Wait, what? Were you playing hide and seek? Greetings. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. Yeah. And that means Alan. strangers are welcome. Ha. I'm sorry, you've caught us during a a difficult time. But Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? I come to ins- I mean, um, tell me something about- uh, What is this place? Well, in ancient times, this used to be a tourist town. My people have lived here and on the island for generations. And now everyone's crowded onto the docks just trying to survive another day. Hmm. We have more than our fair share of problems. You aren't here to add to them, are you? No, I'm just here to enslave and uh, actually... A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. At least we know she made it this far. Oh. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hull never lets us down. Now follow me. Be careful on the hull, stranger. Don't fall off. If you do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. <laughs> Great. Look, I got a sword. Man the hull. Something's out there. You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill. The hell? What the hell? Eyes peeled, everyone. I've got wounded out here. Mariner? There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gulpers! Oh. oh. Defend yourselves! Ready all! Fire at What? That's awesome. I can't even target. Oh, there we go. What the hell is this? Gulper? Hit that thing. 
He's in the head. Oh, don't miss. Some luck. Is that it? It's over. Eyes on the fog. Something's coming. Something else is coming. Holy crap, how the hell am I supposed to? Sort of mutated frogs. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Don't worry, we'll just take everything. We'll take everything you got as well. Because why not? Okay. I guess that's. All of them? Hmm, alright. That was interesting. So, did I do good? Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. Oh, thanks. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Mm. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. Okay, so, um... Well, it is impressive that you survived, then. If you managed to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. Oh. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. This children of Adam. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam, which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee. Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. Okay. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Um... Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Okay. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. 
Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But a uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Uh, okay. What's Old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. Okay. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. You, so you just sit behind your wall the entire day. Info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Mm. Right. Um. Is this the bar? That's not the bar. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe if you want to see more. Do leave a comment in the section down below, because I love hearing from you. And I hope to see you all again next time, in Fallout 4.